Welcome back. Today we're going to make a really fun and encouraging spring-like design on this rock. And I'm starting out by adding a strip of washi tape to the lower third of the rock to protect it and kind of keep an open space. Then I'm going to get out my Thule Art acrylic brush pens. I love this set. The colors are beautiful. The pens are really easy to use and I just picked a selection and I'm going to start with this kind of light lavender color and I'm making kind of that droopy daisy where the petals are drooping downward and then the center of the flower is going to show in the middle. So I have to do a little bit of extra coverage just because that lavender is light. I don't have any gesso down. These pens are really good at giving good coverage. Um, that first coat may not show up as well, but when you let that dry and come back, it definitely gives it a nice opaque coverage. So this is the Droopy Daisy to start, kind of a sweet spring-like flower, and it's on the shorter end because of the shape of the rock. I thought it would be a good flower to have on that end of the design. Next, I'm gonna come in with a lighter pink paint pen and I'm just going to create I guess sort of like a daisy it's got five or six petals and just kind of going from the center and around and filling those in and again this is a light color so it doesn't show up super bright and beautiful from the start but I did let this dry in between coats and come back and fill it in and just make sure there was enough paint on that part of the rock that it had good coverage. Now with this darker purple pen, I don't even know what kind of flower this is. It was just something I kind of saw on Pinterest where you have these three kind of bulby loops and I'm filling them in. This pen is a little darker, so the coverage definitely shows differently from the get-go. But then I'm going to come into my Thule Art, my regular paint pens, and these are the fine-tipped ones, to create the stems on these flowers. And I'm going to kind of make them kind of have a waviness to them and I'm going to go right over that washi tape so that I don't lose the shape of my waviness and just create those stems and thicken them up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take that same pen and also the thicker version of it and just go up and down on the bottom and create some grass on the bottom of this rock so they aren't just kind of floating out there. We don't want the flowers just kind of floating out of nowhere. So I'm creating a grass ground cover for them. And then again, a little bit more darkening up on that pink just to make it um, stand out. And I'm using the shape of the brush pen. So I'm kind of pressing it down to give a nice little shape and then rounding it out from the sides. Now I'm going to take my Uni Pin Fine Liner in the 0.8 size and I'm just going to give some outline definition to all of the flowers. And in hindsight, I think this one might have been a little bit thick. It would have looked cute with maybe a thinner black line, but this worked just as well. So I just am going around each of the petals. I'm not doing it perfectly, so if a little bit of paint is showing on the outside of that line, that's okay. And because we're so happy that spring has finally arrived, we're gonna celebrate with some sparkles. So I'm using some Holograph Illusion glitter paint. This is the kind that has the different chunks, different sizes of glitter in it. And this is the purple one. And I'm gonna use it on both this darker flower on the right and the lighter droopy daisy on the left. And it's actually still gonna look different because the paint underneath them 
is a different color. You have the darker and the lighter. But we are just so happy spring finally is here and we're gonna celebrate with some sparkle. Same thing with the centers of the flower. I'm going to take some yellow extreme glitter paint from Folk Art and fill in those centers as well. And this is a Folk Art multi-surface glitter paint, so I'm not quite sure how it's different. It has a pink tint to it and then the pink glitter inside, but it's a nice um, sweet pink. I like the color of it, so I'm going to use that for the pink flower. Okay, now for the fun part, we are gonna peel that washi tape off and it's gonna leave us a nice little space to write a message. So it comes off very nicely, it's the greatest paint and I'm gonna use my Posca PC1MR paint pen and I'm starting with the center word because I'm gonna write grow in script and then I'm gonna write you and girl on the other ends of this. So it's gonna say, you grow girl, instead of you go girl. So it's kind of a play off of that pop culture saying. But I thought it was so cute for spring and also really inspirational, right? Like you're kind of cheering on your fellow female, right? You go girl, you grow girl. And that's kind of the goal, right? We all wanna grow, we wanna get better, we wanna be a better version of ourselves. So you grow girl. And last little step here is I'm gonna add some leaves onto the flowers and we've got this perfect little spring design. Now another option if you wanted to change this up a bit is instead of you grow girl you could write happy mother's day or you could put someone's name in the middle of the design. But check this out with some resin, super sparkly, super fun. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Feel free to watch this next video on the screen and if you love this video give it a like and a share that helps this get out to more rock artists. I'll see you next time. Take care.